Hi everyone, it's Lady Ray. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're doing a makeup recreation inspired by Miss Doja Cat herself. Um, she did like a e-girl beauty routine video on the Vogue channel and it is currently at 8 million views, so I'm definitely late. Uh, in the game, um, but this video is completely inspired by Miss Darcy. She also, you know, like kind of like reacted slash recreated a makeup and the video is like fucking hilarious so shout out to her and I thought, you know, maybe I could uh, recreate it as well and try out if the makeup look actually looks good on me since, you know, my hair is also pink right now and what better um, time to try out this makeup since I don't need to find any other wig anymore. However, I will not be following her skincare routine because A, I don't have all my skincare with me right now, and B, I'm a little bit terrified because she's like exfoliating her face twice a day. I usually exfoliate my face twice a week, so I mean, the makeup is bomb, but the skincare routine, mm, um, I, I'm not gonna do that to myself. You know, I'm just gonna put on a robe just for fun because I feel like that's what they do, you know, the supermodels and celebrities when they do like these beauty videos on Vogue, they always wear one of these. So yes, I'm ready now. First, with my makeup, I color correct. I take this concealer brush color uh, correct this color corrector this I don't really have a color corrector so I'm gonna use this like concealer that I always use every day it's from Etouse and they have like these two colors maybe I can mix them I started doing makeup when I was 13 wore a lot of eyeliner a lot like Amy Winehouse okay so I see that she blended out with a sponge I'm gonna blend it out with this my foundation next and I use Fenty two pumps of that I don't have Fenty foundation, I wish I do, but I don't. Um, but I do know that it is like quite matte, so I'm gonna use a matte uh, foundation. This is the Be Silk Pro Taylor foundation from Espoir. Actually, this foundation is like actually kind of light from my natural skin tone, but I usually just fix it with a bronzer later on. For concealer with my under eye, I'm gonna use the Age Rewind from Maybelline, a tried and true. And I just make a little bow under my eye. Okay. And then I do a little, a little a soul patch, like a villain, like a, like a Disney villain. What? And then, uh, and then I blend that out. Like, like, like that? Do I look like a villain? The next step, this Laura Mercier powder is. Daddy. I don't have Laura Mercier, but I do have a my Cody Airspun. Now, I wouldn't call this my daddy though. I'd probably call this like an like an uncle maybe. However, I do have another loose powder. It is the Fenty Beauty and it is in cashew, but this is like a tad bit too dark for my skin tone, so I might mix these two together to apply. So I go in with my sponge. So then I put that right on my cheeks just in the center because I don't like when this is shiny, everything else can be shiny. Got it. This fluffy eyeshadow brush, like a blending brush, and then I press it in here. All right, so I guess that means we're gonna bake the under eye a bit, so let's go ahead and do that. It doesn't seem like it, but I'm actually putting on a lot of the powder, but it's just like, it's really, I mixed it to make sure it looks like my skin tone. And then I take this, and I brush it. I flick it out like this. I try not to swipe it onto my face or push it down. We want like a very thin layer, but just enough to. This isn't necessarily baking. It kind of is. It's like a mini bake. Whatever's kind of left over. All right. Yeah. Around, I can like definitely that. see that. Yeah. So far, I'm not complaining about the base. It feels pretty nice. Close this, shake it, love it. Okay, shake it. <laughs> oh, that's, that's a lot of powder that came out. I never used this much powder, man. I take this and I get a lot on my beautiful under eyes. All right, so we're gonna cut the cheekbone, I guess. Um, it's gonna go right in. Man, it has been a while since I done any type of baking. I used to bake all the time, but then I feel like it's way too heavy 
for like everyday makeup but it does set your makeup pretty well so i don't know i just like stopped doing it at one point in the video it didn't seem like she has baked it for a really long time so i'm just gonna go ahead and just dust this off gently i just baked and you can see i created a cheekbone i always contour with with bronzer so yeah this is like every day for me okay bronzer so for bronzer what i always use is uh this palette here called minuet and i use this bronzer shade right here called california so miss doja actually put on quite a bit of bronzer so i'm gonna build it up a bit more than I usually would. I'm gonna go under my lip and this kind of creates like a shadow. Okay. I'm gonna go under my chin and take it down into like my nose, but I start from here and create that shadow. Okay, so a lot is going on right here. Uh, she put a bit under the lip and also like under the nose, and I don't like using a super big brush to do that, so I'm gonna use this brush right here, the one that I kind of applied the powder under my eye and I'm gonna go in with the bronzer and a little bit under the lips and then the nose bridge. Next, I do my blush and I just swirl it around, okay? I get a lot on there too, because I like a lot. Tap it off. That's a lot. I just work on the edges and I bring my blush up. So for blush, I usually would use the same brush that I use for my bronzer because this is like a more uh, looser stippling brush. It's just like, you know, take out the exact amount of powder without being like too overwhelming and it just kind of blends really well. So I'm just gonna try to use the same technique that I use every day, but just build up a little bit more. For blush, I'm gonna use this Can Make blush right here. It is PW38. I always make sure it's higher than lower because you can go like this and work down here but that'll bring your face down make it appear older and longer ah. i just start packing it onto my nose and i scrub it i scrub my nose pretty much I scrub it on the sides i get under it on the sides bam and what happens it fades during the day okay so she says she scrubs it i mean girl i don't i don't know about this <laughs> It looks like I got a flu and I'm drunk, so... I mean, the whole point is to look sick and look like you have pneumonia, so I, just, I, I don't know, man. Let's hope this all works out. And I like to get a little bit on my lips. But like, how much is a little bit? I can't, I can't really tell. Onto my eyelids because I watched an episode of this uh. that uh, Tinashe did and she puts it on her eyelids. Oh my god, I love Tinashe! <laughs> I just look like I just sneezed really bad and I got like rashes all over my face. Alright, I'm gonna apply some bronzer. Very watery, like a very liquidy blush. And I would take it the tiniest bit. I have this uh, little peripera ink liquid situation, the ink cheek. So she said a little amount. She said put some on the cheek as well. Do my brows. Okay, oh, we're so getting e-girl so eyebrows. So for eyebrow, I think she used a pomade. So I'm gonna use this one from uh, Rimmel. Ready for some e-girl eyebrow, guys. A little angly brush. I start shaping it. Brush. Okay, she says she's doing a little spot, but like, I don't... I don't know how to do that with my brow. And by the way, if you're wondering why my eyebrow looks like kind of short, it's because I sh I shaved off the end so I can like draw a different tail than my natural, you know, eyebrow shape. So that's why it's kind of like weird looking if I don't draw them. You know, I'm just gonna go ahead and do how I usually would draw my brow. So I'm just gonna go ahead and shape them right now. <laughs> This one just really creates like a fake hair moment. Okay, we're gonna do fake hairs. I mean, I don't think it's that necessary for me to do that, but we're just gonna try to do that anyways. Also measuring where the ends drop down and meet. I want that to be generally. I shake it up and then I put 
the powder over my brows. I see girls with their brows and they'll do it and it'll be shiny and light will be reflecting off of their brows. It like deletes their brows. When you mattify them, it just looks more real. You get the color to come out. There is a brow there. Then I take my brush. I, I believe under, her, over. man. I mean, this trick is pretty genius, honestly. It like, it also kind of like soften the color of your brow so it doesn't look like way too intense like at first i thought the color that she like you know grabbed was like really dark i mean i did the same thing tried to match hers but after the powder it just looks a little bit more subdued after i do brows i do my mascara which is mascara I always appreciated like Harajuku culture. They do this um, in Japan, they bring the blush up and they do it over the nose and they kind of put it in the center. And I always kind of wanted that cartoon-esque look. Yeah, that's the, what do you call it? The, oh, I forgot the name, but it's like the drunken look. So this is cover effects. It's like a cream highlight. I do have this. Highlight. I never I tried it though. Bit, and honestly, I'm running out, so I just kind of have to scrape it off. Okay. Ooh, that's a, that's a lot. I'm just gonna use whatever that is on this little applicator and just put it on my hand. Put it on my hand. Put it here and it dries so fast. So you have to work it really fast. Put it here. I'll probably go over this with a little bit of the powder blush just to like match it back. So just Whoa. a little bit pounce it on top. This is shiny. More. If you can see it from the front, that you can see it from the back, 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 yeah, back, back, yeah, back, back, back. I kind of work it upwards and I focus on the part that I want it to highlight. Oh, yo, yo, that whoa, I've never tried this highlighter, so I'm like, I'm pretty shook right now, man. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put the other side. Whoo, yo, that's crazy. <laughs> so I take a cotton pad and I put any makeup remover on it. Oh, a little splash splash. Just okay. go over the inside of my lips. I try not to go too much on the outside because I put blush there to sort of blend that out. I highlight my Cupid's bow as well. So I just put a little bit and I do my chin as well. Okay, so I still have a lot actually left over up here. So I'm gonna use whatever that's left over here to highlight my cupid's bow. I don't want to go like too crazy on these two area because if you go crazy on like the chin over here, it looks like you just ate chicken and your <laughs> chin is oily. And if you do too much of a highlight for the cupid's bow, it looks like you just have sweaty upper lip and I don't really want that. This is the scary part. This is where everybody starts sweating. But I basically take this make sure it's nice and wet. Oh, and eyeliner, I'm so nervous. I feel like every time I do liner, I have to pray to the liner gods, you know, to just make sure that everything's even because I can never get it right. I mean, I can, but it takes a lot of, you know, focus. All right, so she said she usually draw a triangle outside. The thing is, my eyes is not as huge as Doja's, so I can't really do like super, crazy long wing so i just kind of have to like work with what i got all right this is actually way bigger than i intended it to be so i'm just gonna stop right here before i go absolutely bonkers on the eyeliner i love oh my a God, her wings look blushy so nice. red look i just take my blush and then i take it i swirl it and i work it on my lips and then i just kind of take more blush okay my gosh take this work it work it work it it just makes you look cold, like you're freezing cold. And I don't know what's so sexy about being freezing cold, but I like to look like I'm freezing cold. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm sorry, I, I left my jacket there. Can I borrow your jacket? <laughs> okay, I love so her, oh my gosh. Her. She's just, I don't know, she's really like authentic. And she's just like, she's herself, you know, and she not only raps, but she also got killer vocals. She's really like, one of my favorite female artists right now. And I feel like she's gonna kill it even more. She even got like, you know, a song 
that is featured in Birds of Prey, so you know, I thought that was really cool. So I'm a bitch, I'm a boss. I'm a bitch, I'm a boss, I'm a shot like gloss. Okay, so I have a lash line and it goes by Icy Wifey Cosmetics. It's like a spaced out sort of doll-like lash. Um, the only eyelash I have right now, it's are these and it's definitely less dramatic than the one that she has on her lids. So I'm just gonna like go ahead and see if uh, I can make this work. Whoa, that is definitely a lot of lashes for someone who don't normally wear false lash, but okay, I guess I'm into it. I take this and I shake it up, make sure it gets on the brush. And I dot and I love this stuff because like you dot it and then you pick it up and then you just boom. She's using some fancy schmancy um, freckle powder, but I don't have that. So I think I'm gonna first try using the brow powder to see if I can mimic that freckle and using the really the point of this angle brush. Man, I don't think this is like showing up on camera or whatever because I made it like super light. So this is Icy Wifey Cosmetics Chromes. This is just a loose eyeshadow and it looks like this, but then it goes on like this. And it kind of reflects a blue, oh. but then also like a deep pink. Oh, a duochrome down. shadow? Uh, I don't think I have any like pink uh, pigments or duochrome eyeshadow at the moment right now, but I do have this Jeffree Star Action Dawson Conspiracy palette, and there is actually like a pink that I can probably like lightly tap on the lid so i'm gonna go in with the shade trisha right here to just like lightly dab 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 yeah just to give that a little bit of punch i'm gonna go in with ranch and just hit it on the very like what do you call it center of the lid to just give it a little bit more pop so for a lip i can do like an ombre so I take this sort of deep mauve. So I guess something that is kind of like MLBB. Ooh, do I have this right now though? I'm just gonna try to see if this color matches this look, if we ombre it. So this is like a mauve pink, I think. So this is the ColourPop uh, Satin Lip in Dopey. Okay, so Doja actually curls her hair at the end, but I'm not gonna do anything to mine because I'm lazy and I feel like it looks good enough right now. So I'm just gonna leave it at that. But I definitely want to finish it off with a gloss. I just feel like it could use a little bit more uh, something, something, you know, on the lips. So this is the Fenty Gloss and Fussy. Mm-hmm, yup. I definitely prefer this with a gloss. It definitely makes me look more juicy. It makes me look like I eat at lunch, if you know what I mean. So this is definitely a look. I do learn a few tr tricks here and there, like powdering your eyebrow. And I feel like the way that she approaches with eye makeup is definitely like different from my own. Cause you know, normally I would do like um, my eyeshadow first and then liner and then lash and don't really go back in with anything else. I'm still not sure about the freckles though, but for the blush, I can definitely appreciate it a lot more than I would normally do. I mean, it does have that like cartoony, anime-like character kind of aesthetic. So I generally feel like it's very cute. All right, so I guess that would be the finished look. Like, what do you think? Do I, am I pulling this off? Do I look like an e-girl? Should I make TikTok videos right now? <laughs> Um, I, I'm, I'm living for it. I do think it's really, really cute. I don't know if I would ever wear this makeup out, like actually go outside with this, but I definitely would incorporate some of the tricks that I've learned today. So yeah, let me know in the comments, what do you think about this video? And, um, that is all I have for you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video till the end. Make sure to give this video a like and also subscribe down below, hit the bell and follow me on my social media and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.